All right, you're looking out at the wild dog compound at the Living Desert, and they are looking anything but wild. They're just, these are what my dogs are doing right now. They're just asleep in the shade. That's what mine are inside in their cubbies and enjoying it. All right, we're watching a little bit of moisture sliding in from the east. The air wrapping around this ridge of high pressure is pulling in some of that humidity. So you may notice uh, it's just about as hot as it was yesterday, but it feels less comfortable because of the moisture at the surface. Uh, the weather pattern is such that as the circulation around that ridge of high pressure moves that moisture in, as long as the high is sitting right about where it is, that will continue to happen. We'll see those easterly breezes. But by late tonight into tomorrow, that ridge of high pressure starts to migrate just a little bit, and that should dry things out. But the water vapor, uh, we've seen a little bit of it out there. And it has pushed our dew points up to 51, so your evaporative cooler likely not working as well as it could. And we always pay attention to that this time of year. Now, you'll notice something. The forecast has the dew points going down into the 40s and then a little bit up overnight. So this is good news. I think we'll start to see some drier weather conditions. Maybe not until later tonight, but as we move into tomorrow and the rest of the weekend, the, the drying continues. But right now, those easterly winds are still swirling around the east end of the Coachella Valley and pushing moisture into the middle of our valley. Our temperatures, 97 in Whitewater and Palm Springs, also outside of our studios. Indio at 97. Uh, everybody else is at 96. So we're within a very tight range. Air quality, uh, the worst of the air quality in the valley is at 71, which is in the moderate range. And that's a good portion of the valley. It covers everybody from basically Cathedral City, portions of Rancho Mirage, Ano, all the way through the pass. Now, as you work your way through the central and eastern part of the valley, air quality is a little bit better. So far, it's been holding at the moderate stage and not above that. So that's as good as we can expect with this ridge sitting on top of us. It holds the pollutants and the ozone right at the surface. So we, those sensors pick that up. Looking for a high of 107 today and similar numbers tomorrow. We might not even make that 107 because of the moisture in the atmosphere. But again, the humidity makes it feel less comfortable. 105 on Saturday, 102 on Sunday, and then upper 90s as we move into Monday and Tuesday. And we'll kind of bounce around the upper 90s to 100. Very close to seasonal normals, but some bonus days in the forecast where we are actually below average. And that's pretty nice. Jeff.